When it comes to freshwater bass fishing, we all have our little tactics to catch fish, or at least we hope they do. Am I a pro bass fisherman? Absolutely not. But I do like to teach a few things to those who are new to the sport and are those who want to learn more about a different way to catch green bass. Today I'm at beautiful Lake Paris, California, targeting bass in the shallows with rising water levels. My objective, I'm fishing with a jig type of lure in and around heavy cover, then I'm gonna try my luck fishing a frog come sundown. Wish me luck. I love fishing, bro. I love it. This beats work any day of the week. Stoked on Fishing is brought to you by Simrad, the world's most trusted fish finding electronics, marine equipment, and navigational solutions. Simrad, go with confidence. And by Okuma Fishing Tackle, delivering more than just fishing gear, Okuma delivers the inspiration and motivation to hit the water. And by Simi Valley View with GMC, Southern California's family owned and operated dealership who is stoked on fishing. And by Reconte Hot Sauce, Pura Vita in a bottle. The flavor revolution has begun and Reconte is here to fill the void with an epic lineup of hot sauces direct from Costa Rica. Good morning, good morning from Lake Paris, California. It's SoCal time and the springtime, 2018. And today, we're gonna do a little pitching and flipping. The best thing I love about this is, is I'm gonna be by myself. Aluminum boat. A lot of fiberglass boats can't get in where I'm gonna go, and it just makes it all that much more exciting because you're by yourself and there's nobody around. Next thing is, I love pitching and flipping. The reason why, I love to swing on a big, on a fish. And you're going to see if I get some bites, I'm going to swing on some fish and upset some fish back here. They're real comfortable and with water levels rising, these things are spreading out all over the lake. And the two things we're going to concentrate on today is pitching and flipping and frogging. Hopefully I can get a frog fish and get it on film. Best thing is we're camping for a couple of days here. So I'm just going to be running cameras and see what happens all by myself today. Fun, fun, fun. Crankbait's always giving you trouble. That's another thing we're going to talk about today is the gear I'm using, tactics, how I'm fishing, and break it all down with nothing but Akuma gear. It's time to go flipping and pitching. One of my favorite things to do and one of my favorite things to flip and pitch with is it's called the Fat Ica. And that's the hook I like using. See a little weight? Keeps it at the bottom a little bit longer and you can bump it around. All right, this is how I'm gonna hook this. Everyone has their own preference, but this is just one of the things I like to do, is hook it backwards. Tip, top. And you just barely run it in. Bring it up. There you go. And you bring that weight through it, and you push that through like that. Key ingredient here, weedless. Weeds everywhere, trees everywhere. So that's mandatory, it's gotta be weedless. Put that hook just like that, and you can even do, do a little ink, and there you go. So basically, when you're dragging this, bring it up, it shoots back down like this. Imitates a crawdad or a grub or something like that. Next little key ingredient. Rattle. Punch that in the back. Just like that, you push it in the back. Just push it in like that. Deadly, deadly. So, the other week I was doing pretty good on it, so we'll see what happens today and this trip, but it's one of my favorite baits here. All right, game time, let's do this. This coves back here. You know, all this area, man, it's all flooded. All this is flooded, it keeps going up. It's almost like fishing in the Amazon, SoCal style. Oof, lovely.
is. Alrighty, that's gonna get the day started. Right in the mouth. That's what you want. Well, bigger than that, but that gets the day started, and that tells me that they are biting the creature bait still. I'll let you go. Basically, I was sinking it down. It hit the ground, and I was watching my spectra. The spectra just went dink, dink, and then you swing, which is fun. Uh, uh. About three feet deep, not too deep. Come on, fat dog. Yeah. That was awesome. As soon as I lifted it up. Mama. Oh. Whew. That stuff's fun. It's only a couple of fish, but show me they're still on the creature bite. So we're just going to keep working back through this area. Water level is rising. And uh, like I said, I'm just keeping pitching and flipping in these shadows. Man, that's exciting. That's just that's a two pound fish, and I'm jacked up. So. Update is torched. Torched. Pull her through and twist. Looks like that. There you go, I got that right. Rattle. All right, there we go. All right. So all these little pockets. I'm sneaking this one here. Yeah, little buddy. Hey. Awesome. You're not a monster, but you are fun. Mwah. Son. Swings are free. Could have still been sinking. I'm all jacked up right now. Could have still been sinking, Shay. Oh, God. That had to be a bluegill bite. I was on that. That's nice, Shay. Blame the bluegill. Tommy likes shade. Tommy likes shade. Bassie likes shade. You're so vicious. You're so vicious. You're so vicious. Beautiful, beautiful little bass. Hook's doing its job right where it's supposed to be. See a little chunk. Yeah, jump for me. Nope. <laughs> Little chunk. You're all over that. Uh, and you guys are warming up. Thank you. Alright, little lunch break in the weeds. A little lunch break in the weeds. And of course, when you have a little lunch, you gotta make a little cast. So I decided to drop a little crappie jig in. Just over the side, a little chirp chirp, chirp chirp, chirp chirp chirp. And Bendo, <laughs> I got my first bluegill to trip. Hi, buddy. You wailed on that thing, didn't you? 
Hell yeah. Look at that dude. That is a healthy bluegill. There you go. That was easy enough. Yeah. So much for that sandwich. There you go, a little crappie jig, little ee 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 ee. Bando. Perfect shade, it's comfort zone, everything is perfect. Got him. Oh, got him. As soon as I put it down, he is brawling, dude. He's brawling, look at him. Well, the two pound. Oh, it's another big old boogie. Oh, he's bigger than the last one, dude. Look at him, bro. Look at how dark he is. Wow. Giant purple. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. What a bluegill, dude. All right, well, I'm losing my marbles right now, and I just learned a big lesson. After I caught that bluegill, I had my lunch. I stood up, saw a nice little area without my camera on, and decided to make a cast. And I told myself, you're blowing it. Probably going to get bit. <laughs> sure enough, I got bit, and it turned out to be the biggest fish of the day. He jumped and spit the hook. <sighs> learned my lesson. It's very, very frustrating. So here we go. We're going to put the camera back up till we get afternoon sessions usually have been better here but hopefully I can stick a big one and show you guys get into the nose out through the mouth alrighty big boy where you at my heart is just beating a million miles an hour I just lost a good one really good one dark green came out just threw my whole bait right in my face As you can see, I'm just coming through these areas and I'm just picking apart sections in and around these little lanes the best I can. Swings are free. Swings are free. Awesome. Gobble, gobble, huh, buddy? There you go. Thank you, my friend. Yeah, buddy. Small, but. 
there you go. A little bit better grade fish. The one I lost five times that size. The one I lost was bigger than that, but uh, like I said, that's a good sign. They're starting to bite back here. I just missed another one, so we're going to warm up here, keep flipping and pitching, but uh, I'm on something here, and I'm, I'm all by myself, so even at SoCal Lakes, you still can't get out here by yourself, but having a small aluminum definitely helps. Flip and pitch. One more in you? Yeah. There you go, chunk dog. You chunky monkey. There you go. All right, look at how gorgeous that is. She is beautiful. Thank you. I appreciate it. Let's let you go. Goodbye. I know. It's been fun. It's been awesome. Uh, nothing giant. The one that got away, of course. Um, but here we go. We'll see what happens. But like I said, I've got two more days here, and we'll be camping tonight. Stoked on Fishing Trip Tips is brought to you by Simrad and the new revolutionary Halo Radar, combining the best characteristics of Simrad's traditional pulse and 4G broadband radar systems. Halo uses a pulse technology to deliver an unprecedented mix of close and long-range detection, precise target definition, and low clutter. To learn more about the Halo Radar, visit simradyachting.com. When fishing a lake with rising water levels, bass are spread out everywhere, so there's all kinds of ways to catch these fish. These tips are just one of many tactics that might be able to help you land more fish in the boat. Fishing gear I was using was the Akuma EVX 751 Heavy, which worked great with pulling fish out of thick cover. The reel I was using was the Helios TCS series with a 7 to 1 gear ratio. I had 50 pound braid with a 3 foot fluorocarbon top shot of 30 pound. Fishing in and around the shallow water sticks, I like to use the Fat Ica because it's super weedless and not too heavy, which gets through the brush easier and doesn't snag up like heavier jigs. It's crucial to have a heavier wide gap hook, not only to set the hook, but not to bend out on you with the big fish. Next in line was picking apart all the new weed lines, trees, and fresh territory for these bass. Every day and time is different, but what worked best for me was fishing in the three to eight foot zone, trying to hit as many shade pockets as you can, go slow, be patient and don't fish too fast or you might just miss the big one. One last thing, please practice catch and release with these bass. They're slow to grow and much better in the water than on the dinner table. We've got a few fish, flipping and pitching. I just missed a frogfish, so I'm gonna try to get a frogfish. Man, oh man, that bite is just something, something special. So we'll see if we can stick a frogfish, and if not, we'll go back to the flipping and pitching. Get you a porky. Ah, uh, froggy. Let's get you a porky. Big fatso. Big fatso. Big fatso. I know you're in here somewhere. That's just whether you want to eat this thing or not. I know you're in here. Come 
Come on, Froggy, get bit. Look at this area. I mean, it's just, I have to. Stay on, please. I'm gonna switch you over. You stay down, I know you're a hog. You're an absolute hog. No, you don't. I know. You're an absolute hog. I know. I know. This thing's a stud. I got my bite, I got my bite. Absolute stud, there's the frog. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Look at this fish. She's a good six pounds. Oh my goodness. There you go. And that's the icing on the cake of the day right there. And she gobbled up the frog. Oh man, I got my photo, it's time to release her. Oh, whoa. Oh. There you go, come on. There you go. Ah, uh, cause that a girl. There you go. This is what it's all about, man. Sorry, Ryan. You couldn't make it. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow morning. Anyways, battery's going down. I'm going down. And that's the icing on the cake. Thanks, Lakes Paris. Camping tonight. We'll be out here tomorrow fishing. See you. Stoked on Fishing is brought to you by Simrad, the world's most trusted fish finding electronics, marine equipment, and navigational solutions. Simrad, go with confidence. And by Akuma Fishing Tackle, delivering more than just fishing gear, Akuma delivers the inspiration and motivation to hit the water. And by Simi Valley View with GMC, Southern California's family owned and operated dealership who is stoked on fishing. And by Reconte Hot Sauce, Pura Vita in a bottle. The flavor revolution has begun and Reconte is here to fill the void with an epic lineup of hot sauces direct from Costa Rica.